That journal you recovered, the contents are disturbingly intriguing. You reported that my old associate, Lyra Viria, is the Black Dragon. The journal, however, claims the Black Dragon killed Lyra. I need to determine the truth of this matter. Lyra was the most skilled of my brothers and sisters. I assume she died in the purification of my former sanctuary, along with the rest of my old family. If the Black Dragon killed Lyra, why does she use her name? Curiouser and curiouser. I want to pretend I never read that journal, but I can't resist a mystery. The Black Dragon killed Lyra and destroyed my former sanctuary. Or Lyra is the Black Dragon. Either way, I need to know the truth. Will you come with me, assassin? I'll arrange our transport to my former sanctuary. Meet me near the gates of Anvil when you are ready to depart. And thank you for agreeing to help me. Not far. Just over the border into Black Marsh, as a matter of fact. I haven't been back there in many years. I wonder what we'll find when we finally get there. Purification. That's what they called it. I suppose the term is accurate. Betrayal and corruption festered in our ranks. Though I'm not sure what the source was or why it happened. The Black Hand decreed a systematic cleansing was the solution. Another excellent question. I'm going to record that for later. But as for the answer, I was working deep in Black Marsh during that season. Whatever the rest of my sanctuary did to anger the Black Hand, it was obvious that I had no part in it. Perhaps the Black Dragon took Lyra's name as some sort of trophy. Or maybe she adopted it to confuse us. Regardless, I thought Lyra perished along with the rest of my brothers and sisters. I thought I alone had been spared. I'm not sure what to believe, but the Black Dragon certainly implies that in her journal. Whatever the case, only a master assassin could accomplish something as far-reaching as purification. The Black Dragon's skills clearly mark her as such. I abhor a mystery. If I have to confront my past to shed light on the present, then so be it. At least I won't be alone. With you by my side, I am sure I can face whatever secret the Purified Sanctuary may contain. As much as I admire curiosity, sometimes your questions can be somewhat... irritating. The Matron asked me to research the journal and give her a report. My research requires that we visit my former sanctuary. All in the line of duty, as it were. Should I go and tell Astara that I am taking her best recruit to a place the Dark Brotherhood destroyed and abandoned, so that we can uncover the truth of the Black Dragon? Hmm. I'd say no. Let's not do that. She'll hear about it soon enough, anyway. I sometimes forget the details myself, Assassin. That's one of the reasons I write everything down. You discovered that the Black Dragon is a member of the Order of the Hour, but the price for that knowledge was Mirabelle's life. Which I have been studying in an attempt to determine what the true connection is between the Black Dragon and Lyra, the sister I thought was killed in the purification. That's what I hope to uncover when we visit my former sanctuary.
Good to see you again. Tell that little Nord of yours that she should come by and say hello when she gets a chance. This horse and cart will get us to Blackwood, where Cyrodiil flows into Black Marsh. Climb aboard when you are ready. We can wait if you still have things to do before we depart. You ask the most interesting questions. Let me jot that down. After we get to Blackwood, Shazara Ta will take us up the river to Sanctuary. Don't worry, Shazara Ta's an excellent boat handler. She knows those rivers like the tip of her tail. She's a black marsh tracker who I've had the pleasure to work with in the past. We can trust her implicitly. Besides, she has the most enticing fascination with all things Shadow Scale. You'd think I would find that annoying. But not in the least. Of little use is horse and cart once we reach borders of the marsh. From there, we ride a riverboat to sacred place. The flow of the waterways, like swimming in my hatching pool or tracking a guar through mud. You worry not. Strange, but it doesn't feel like coming home. I never was able to learn much about the purification. Even the listener refused to talk about it. She did say that the Black Hand can call for purification in extreme circumstances. I just wish I knew what made the purge necessary. This time, though, I think we'll learn something I never knew. At least, I hope we will. Keep your eyes open. The sanctuary may be abandoned, but such places never stay quiet for long. Let us go inside. Have you ever seen as the hist sees? 
Have you ever looked beyond the barrier of time? We're going to need to see with more than our eyes to find the truth in this place. Another excellent question. Keep them coming, assassin. I believe in preparing for every contingency, so I brought along this resin. When burned, its fumes reveal things that are hidden from our feeble eyes. Can't you sense it? We are not alone in here. I'll need you to deal with anything that tries to stop us while I keep the flame burning. Didn't I explain that already? Let me check my notes. Hmm. Interesting. The sanctuary was abandoned by the living, yes. But it still holds many dark secrets. Secrets even the resin may not reveal. We should be on our guard. Then let me light the flame. Breathe deep and let the resin open your eyes. It might be uncomfortable, but I urge you not to resist. The effects should be temporary in all likelihood. Let the fumes lead us to the answers we seek. sealed the sanctuary. I had no idea they left the bodies where they fell. Let's see what happens. wrong, sister? I'm sorry it's come to this, brother. What are you doing? No, Lyra! Stop! <gasps> Lyra. Associate, another piece of this sorry puzzle. Wait, Lyra, you know me. I'd never betray the Brotherhood. I do know you, Annalise, but my orders are clear. Please, there has to be another way. If only that were true. <laughs> Goodbye, sister. Clarity blooms through the fog of the hist but to be charged with such a terrible task.
these halls reminds me of the story they used to tell to scare the initiates. The tale of the wrath of Sinus. <laughs> This place retains memories like my journals hold recollections. Everything we see happened. It seems Lyra did carry out the purification. Let's press on. We must see everything while the resin still burns. <laughs> what? Are those tears? Executioners aren't supposed to cry, Lyra. Come! Plunge your blade into my heart. If Sithis calls for me, I will gladly leap into the void. When we are called, we must obey. You really believe that? Even now, you think this insanity has some sort of meaning? Purpose and meaning are illusions for the masses. But we know the truth, Lyra. Now strike and send me home. In the old story, the wrath of Sithis appeared to carry away the souls of traitors. If that's true, I wonder why purification was even necessary. set of relations. Traitor! I'm not the one who betrayed my brothers and sisters. The Black Hand would never sanction this. I don't believe it. You don't need to believe it. You simply need to die! She completed the purification of her own sanctuary. I can't even imagine what that must have done to her. How terrible. Lyra was ordered to purify her own sanctuary to kill her own brothers and sisters. I never even imagined. It means I was kept in the dark about the purification. I understand why they thought that was necessary, but it doesn't change the fact that I had to learn the truth on my own. Lyra didn't die in the Purge. She was the Black Hand's sword. That still eludes me. Obviously, the Black Dragon wants us to believe that she and Lyra are one and the same. But I can't imagine Lyra turning her back on the Night Mother, on Sithis. There is a piece missing from this puzzle. I just know it. After Lyra completed the purification, she would have gone to the Shrine of Sithis to make an offering and pray over her success. It was her usual ritual. Let's visit the Shrine and see if any images remain of that moment in time. Right. There is another memory to see. Dread Father, can you hear me? Do you see what they forced me to do? Was this truly your will? Did Mother really command this? I 
did as I was told, but it still feels wrong. Please, Dreadfather, talk to me. Were all these deaths truly what you wanted? Allow me to assure you, child. You have done exactly as you were commanded. Speaker, I didn't know you were here. Another sacrament has been performed. You must go to the city of Kavach and eliminate Jonas, the primate of Akatosh. But Speaker, my family, I need time to... Your family? Such personal attachments are beneath you. Remember who you really are. Ruthless, ambitious. You are my silencer, my weapon. Yes, Speaker. I remember. I'll go to Kvatch immediately. Well, wasn't that revealing? I might have to find other uses for these wonderful fumes. It appears that not only did Lyra complete the purification of our old sanctuary as she was commanded, but she also took on another contract when she was done. Before his grandness Artorius ascended to the top of the religious hierarchy, Primate Jonas was the tip of the tower as far as Akatosh's followers were concerned. There were rumors, but this proves that Jonas didn't succumb to natural causes. An excellent question. If the Black Dragon really is Lyra, I'll kill the traitor myself. Meet me in Kvatch, Assassin. I have a little resin remaining. With it, we might be able to determine what occurred during Lyra's final contract. Shazara Ta will return you to the Gold Coast. I'll meet you in front of Akatosh's Cathedral in Kvatch. After I pay my respects to these memories.
I can't explain it, but I have a feeling that this is the place. Perhaps a residual effect of breathing so much of the fumes? I've only enough resin left for a few more precious seconds. So let's hope I'm right about this location. Then breathe deep of the resin's fumes one last time. Let's see if we can learn the fate of my lost sister, Lyra. Without purpose, but the opposite is true. Everything has led you to me. Oh, really? I just see another witness that needs to be silenced. I performed the sacrament that brought you here. Not because Primate Jonas needed to die, but because the Dragon God wanted us to join forces. Join forces? I don't understand. You need to turn away from the void and step into the light. Join me, and together we'll walk the path to redemption. Redemption? I'm a murderer. There's no redemption for someone like me. Nonsense, child. Akatosh performs more impressive miracles than that all the time. We just need to turn your talents to the holy work of the Dragon God. Become my champion, a sword of Akatosh, my black dragon, that burns away evil's darkness. I... Yes, I see it now. I pledge my blade and my life to you and to Akatosh. Show me the way. The visions don't lie. The fumes confirmed my worst fears. Lyra abandoned the Dark Brotherhood and became the Black Dragon. She betrayed us all. Lyra Viria died the day the Black Dragon was born, just as the journal said. My friend is gone. All that remains is another enemy of the Dark Brotherhood. An enemy that will die by my hand. And that's the information we need to convey to Astara. Servant and Master both need to be dropped into the Void for daring to strike against us. Let's return to the Sanctuary and tell Astara what the fumes revealed. I'll meet you there. Well...
Of course I know where you went, Venom. If I didn't intend for that to happen, you'd be a backpack by now. Tell me what you uncovered. All evidence points to one conclusion. Lyra is the Black Dragon, and she's working for Primate Artorius. The Black Dragon was one of us. She knows how we think, how we act. Artorius uses our own weapon against us. Give me the order, Matron. Let my blade be the one that ends the Black Dragon's life. Patience, brother. Let me consider the ramifications. Your connection to Lyra could be a boon in this matter, but it could also be a detriment. Ah, here comes our assassin. Back from the wilds of Black Marsh, I see. Come, let's talk. Green Venom Tongue gave me his report on your little jaunt. What you discovered shows how the past sometimes comes back to haunt us. Since this concerns the Primate, Speaker Tyrannus and the Black Hand will determine our next move. Would you prefer punishment to praise, Assassin? Let the Black Hand decide how we navigate these troubled waters. For now, work your contracts, sharpen your skills. The Black Dragon will pay for her transgressions, as will her master, Artorius. <laughs>